What's up guys, we're building with mods again and we're back at Starlight Drive-In to sort out the food problem in this little market town. And I'm still pretty ill so I apologise in advance if I sound like the thing from under your bed. So without further ado, let's do this shit. To build the greenhouse I'm using the Homemaker mod. I could also use Snap and Build because I got that installed as well and they both offer the greenhouse. So I could build the structure pick it up as a whole and place it exactly where I wanted, I ended up removing the platform marker I ended up putting down earlier. Once that was out the way, I began building the greenhouse. I didn't go for anything too random or too creative, I went for a nice simple greenhouse with a door at either end. One problem I ran into early on was getting the sides to actually snap right up against the other walls. Looking back now, it was probably a wooden support beam that was meant to actually snap in the corner to bring it all together. But I just no clipped the rest of the building and just moved the side slightly in so it just lined up a little bit more nicely. Once I was happy with the way it was looking, I picked it up and moved it into place. Few inches later. Getting it to line up exactly where I wanted it was pretty tricky, it did take me a few tries. A good little tip here is save it before you move it and then move it and if you don't get it in the right place, instead of having to no clip everything around it to move it again, you just load up your previous save and just have another go. I do love this settlement and I love building here but one of the biggest problems I always run into is how uneven the flooring is. So to improve it a little bit I placed huge shack foundations along the one side. I placed some support beams to make this place look more structurally sound. You might notice there's a gap between the window and the roof on the sides. Don't worry I have a mod for that and I will get to it later. Moving on we placed some greenhouse tables along the one side. I began trying to line them up all neatly and shit and then I realised it's the apocalypse, what am I doing? So I moved on and planted some planters, planted some, well it kind of is planted them. When you're putting something down, you're planting it down. So I planted some planters on the tables and stuff. Sick. Okay, sticking with planting planters, I planted some planters down the middle. Trying to get them to line up so it seemed like one long planter rather than three separate ones. And it worked pretty good. And if you're thinking to yourself, hey, how are you placing everywhere? Well, my friend, I'll tell you. It's the Place Everywhere mod which could be yours today for 499 payments of 499 plus one human soul. Or you can just go down to the description, click on the link on the Place Everywhere mod and voila, you have the Place Everywhere mod that allows you to place everywhere. Plus you can toggle ground and object snapping on and off whenever you like. But moving on, the place was looking kinda okay, it wasn't that good, so I ended up going into decorations, I finally said it right after like 5 takes, and I came across this cool fan. It's not quite my biggest fan, the one before it is, but it worked anyway. So I placed one at either end of the greenhouse, allowing that sweet toxic apocalyptic air to flow nicely through the greenhouse. Looking at it now, these skinny ass wooden window frames probably wouldn't be able to support this big metal fan. So I'm probably actually gonna go back and clip a half wall into the window, replacing the window with a wall. Even though the structure not, might not be realistic, it still looks pretty cool. Continuing with decorations, I placed a garden hose and a weed whacker. Do American people actually call streamers weed whackers? To be fair, weed whacker is like a 10 times, actually a 100 times better name than a strim. <laughs> okay, moving on, I placed some more planters down on one side. This time these were bigger planters and they looked pretty cool, making sure they lined up. Then to make the planters look a little less boring, I ended up adding a picket fence. And just let me say this now, this was a headache just to get it to line up with the planters and the walls on either side. A few moments later. But I got there in the end. Remember I was on about a mod and I fixed the problem with the window and the roof, the spacing? Well here it is, this mod is called Craftable Tall Walls and Spacers. This is one of them mods that are so so simple, 
yet yeah, they really make your builds look 10 times better just look at this they also come in a wood as well speaking about them coming in a wood as well they gave me a really cool idea i made a long beam going across from one fan to the other which i then placed lights across it to give the effect that they were heated lamps because that's what the apocalypse needs more heat the cool thing about the place everywhere mod as well is it allows you to place plants wherever you want even inside other plants allow me to place multiple plants in one planter i also added a load of razor grain to cover up the dirt patch in the corner i added doors taps and a scavenging station to cover up this little odd space in the corner and some nice hanging lights and as far as the greenhouse was going, I was pretty much done. And at this point, I had no idea how I was going to do this shop. So instead of wasting more time and just messing around and not knowing what I was doing, I ended up going with another idea. Which came to me while I was moving something earlier. For this little build, I was using the little room located at the far side of the settlement. What was I going to build here? A little jail i don't want to waste too much time on the video here so what i did is i placed obviously the wall the door i did a bed with a sleeping bag on top so they can actually keep a little bit warm but that's not really gonna matter also i did a sink and a toilet so what did i move earlier that gave me the idea to do this the skeleton of course so i picked the skeleton up placed it in the jail cell and i'm nice so i gave her a friend starlight driving is a very peaceful kind happy settlement so if you do any crime any crime at all the penalty is death yes they were probably trump supporters as well to finish it off i placed a sign and some graves outside and of course they were trump supporters look at a massive wall around the settlement okay going back to the greenhouse and the shop like I said at the beginning of the video, you could have used Homemaker or Snap and Build to build a greenhouse. And I actually found the Snap and Build add more items, like these glass roofs that are actually floors, and a whole lot of items to build a sprinkler system. This area was actually going to be the shop. So I placed a doorway at either end and walled off the front. You may be saying, but there's doorways on the front. Don't worry about these now, we'll get to them in a bit. I whipped out the spacers again and placed them slightly inside the doorway that looked really cool with the frame coming through. Like I said the doorways weren't actually going to be doorways, they were going to be where I placed my vendors. So I placed a store in each door making sure I blocked off the little gap underneath. And more wall dividers. I. I really like this mod, it's so simple yet these wall dividers can be used and fix a lot of problems. For example here, the bottom of the metal walls just didn't really suit the rest of the build since it had a wooden frame around everything else. So to pull it all together and just make it look a hell of a lot better, I added the wooden wall dividers to the bottom edge. And to make it look even better, I ended up adding shack supports to the wall as well. I placed two garden house tables in front of the stores because look, look how cool they look. And then shit came tumbling down. I ended up getting rid of half of the shop or one part of the shop because I weren't too happy with how it was so cramped and you couldn't actually get to the restaurant from this side. I swapped the garden house tables out for these bigger platforms. So the stretcher was done. So to finish it off, I added some signs, a Nuka-Cola machine with obviously Nuka-Cola in it and some lights and of course a little table to the side so people can eat their food and then i had a cool idea to make the nuka cola machine look even better i placed red lights behind the nuka cola or nuka cola cherry and then i placed blue lights behind the nuka cola quantum what made this even cooler which i wasn't expecting is it gave this awesome purple glow and we are done and i have a quick question for you guys what platform do you play Fallout 4 on? Do you play on PS3, Xbox One or PC? I personally play on PC simply for the mods. Because the amazing thing about mods is all them kind of ideas and things you think about in the game when you're like, oh, it would be amazing if this was like this. Or if this was slightly changed to do this, it would be so much better. 
And that's what mods do. It simply makes little changes or huge changes to the game that just makes the game so much better. And I find I end up putting more hours into the game than I would have anyway. So it kind of just makes the money go even further when buying games. But if you play on console, why do you play on console? I know one of the biggest reasons is simply because you don't know whether a game is going to run or not on your PC and whether it run properly. But with console, you can kind of just chuck a game in and 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to work pretty good. But for now, I am finished. In the next episode, we're going to be turning an old army truck into an army shop. And as always, if you liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.